All right, we're back. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like I feel like chilling for a bit, you know, talking about Zelda stuffs. Uh, so that game was fun. That was real good. Like, I appreciate how it's like, you know, by Mar Marvel Snap. Cool, cool. That's where you take all the pictures of the superheroes. Give me pictures of Spider-Man! Sorry, I just had a, little, a tiny episode there. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that game was good. Oh, hold on a second. I should, um, let me scooch. You know, let me scooch, uh, scooch me. There. Oh, it's a card. Yeah. Cool. It's just literally Pokemon Snap for the Nintendo 64. But... They're superheroes instead of Pokemon. Yeah, and every peak... Like... You're Peter Parker. Okay, someone make a Rob hack. Or, it have to be something more. I don't even know if we could technically do ROM hacks in big old air quotes. Uh, of... What do you call it? What do you even call it? Of, uh, N64 games? Is that, is that even how it works? Uh, like, some sort of hack, some sort of edit. You play Pokemon Snap, and you're Peter Parker in that little car, and every... Every Pikachu is a Spider-Man. Uh, it doesn't need to make sense. And Professor Oak... This guy... Is, uh, J. Jonah Jameson. And it's genius. See? There. Money for everyone. Yeah, do it, man. Do it. Someone make it. Give me pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> so, alright. Yeah, the game is fun. Definitely, it's weird having it be so different from the first one. But I enjoyed it a lot. Was it better than the first one? I'd say no. Was it worse? I'd also say no, because it's such a different game. It's, um... So it's really hard to compare. It's like saying that Zelda is better than, like, Final Fantasy. Like, it's entirely two different things. Um... What did I not like about it? I mean, some of the things... I mean, there's a, it, it's a little bit of NES jank. Like, with some, um... I mean, the combat is really good, if you really think about it. Like, as an action RPG, it's really solid. And it's... It's innovative. It really does feel like apples and oranges, you know? One second, hold on. Um, I feel like it does. it is consistent tone-wise and, like, feel-wise of the original Zelda. Though not exactly the same. Like, the first one, I feel, is more... Like, they're both very explorative. But still... But in like different ways, I feel. Where in Zelda 2, it's linear in the way that you explore, but it still feels like you're, you're really going all over the place. You're going into very interesting spots. You're still fighting dudes. 
but it's not quite as... Man, no, I feel like the tone is really consistent with the first Zelda. Which is pretty incredible, considering it's like a 180 gameplay-wise. It does make me wish that they would do something like this again. But they're not gonna, because they're already set in their overhead pattern, you know, 3D Zelda aside. I don't know, maybe you could argue that the, that the 3D Zeldas really fall after Zelda 2, you know? That's an argument to be made. Alright, but, um... Let's take a look at the plot, since that was brought up. Alright, I, I already have the manual. I already have the manual up here. Uh, I'll go through it quickly. Because I already I already read through this before. So, at the end of the fierce fight, Link overthrew Ganon to play Triforce Rescue Princess Zelda. First game. Uh, this, uh, however, is it really finished? Many seasons have passed since then. I don't know, Road to Ruin... Again, I'll find a chaos, uh, cause chaos. His underlings are still around and want revenge. That's the whole thing, is that, like, oh, uh, they're going around trying to get, kill Link. And, uh, when you get the game over, it's, you know, when it says the return of Ganon, that's because, you know, Ganon's, uh, you're dead, they got your blood, and, uh, they're coming, they're counting, they're getting Zelda back. I really like the art in this, though. It's so good. Hmm. Yeah. And the ashes of his blood and... Uh, uh, yeah. It's kind of dark. Sacrificing Link. Man. Imagine if they don't kill him. They actually take him alive and, like, have him on an altar. And they, like, rip open his chest and... Like drop his still beating heart <laughs> in a in a goblet of Ganon's ashes. Pretty metal. Uh, Link remained in the Little Kingdom of Hyrule. Little Kingdom, which feels weird because it's so important. Are, are there other kingdoms? They never mention other kingdoms. A strange mark. Happy 16th birthday, you're officially a man. You can p you'll you will kiss the great aunt, great 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 aunt of your girlfriend. Yeah, see it's like the worried link went to Impa, Princess Zelda's nursemaid, who was shocked and frightened. So we got we got a, we got to, we got a Zelda there. Okay, and you can't see my cursor. Here lies Princess Zelda. And it doesn't say that this is, like, the same Zelda that, for some reason, has been put to sleep. And then it goes on to exactly say why, who, who the Zelda is. Tell you the Legend of Zelda. Oh, name drop. It's because there are different Impas to, like, this is the same Impa from the first game. Or at least the manual of the first game. I don't know. Later Impas are, um, you know, different. And hot. Um. Although. Never mind. Um. I mean, dude looks like the King of Red Lions. Alright, so here's a legend here. <laughs> uh, Great Ruler. Using Triforce. Princess search everywhere for missing... The princess everywhere missing... Wait, uh, yeah, missing parts. Yeah, oof. 
Breath of the Wild. If I honestly don't even know what she looks like, but I think I, I think I know. I think I know. Simon Belmont over here. After the prince, the magician threatened to put the princess in eternal sleep. Oh, lady again? Oh, boy. Oh, I mean, uh... Not hot. She's not a fish lady. Not hot. I mean, what? It's, uh, Impa's granddaughter, right? That, um... With the, with the, with the bangs, right? Uh, trying to stop him. Hey, JB, how, how's it going? Um, what? Yeah, Prince of the Dead does, and they uh, bring back to life. Tragedy forgotten. That uh, he ordered that every female child born into the royal house shall be given the name Zelda, which is weird. It's like they knew that there were gonna be a million different Links and Zeldas in a million different games. <laughs> Um, she, yeah, she kind of is Peach-like. Especially, like, the first Peach, I think. Yeah, exactly. The old G Peach. Um... Means the script, can read the thing, find the Triforce, wake her up. And all the day, you'll have good luck. Oh, yeah, and that was the, uh, was that the first boss? Yeah, they, they knew. They had the, the, the Legend of Zelda cinematic universe all planned out on day one. <laughs> yeah, Hyrule Warriors, Impa. Uh, so, yeah, this is a totally different Zelda. With a totally different... Like, and there was never a sequel to this game. It'd be so cool if they made a sequel now. That was actually based around having... Two Zeldas around, and then they do the different things, and it's cool. Make a new Link. And I love these little drawings. Like, look at that. <laughs> uh, it doesn't actually say what the, the brown stuff is, but I guess it's supposed to be, like, lava or whatever? Like, it's the abstract, you know, very la lava is place. Big sheesh. Song in me? Yeah. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's like, he's talking about things. He's These are the things I'm talking about. Getting jacked. Getting magical. Getting constipated. Look at the little blobby guys. They're so cute in this, but the that's gross there. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, if I didn't already have a dead emote, wouldn't this, wouldn't they be, wouldn't this be great for an emote? Like, look at it. Got the sword right up the butt. So defeated. I'd be defeated too. Look at this. Honestly, what if... Oh, dude. Oh, my goodness. I might... Honestly... I might need to commission someone. To draw me like this. Like, exactly the same face. But, you know, my hair. And my jacket and jeans and stuff. J this. This is so good. My idea. I'm doing it. it. Honestly, if you want to do it too, Ohm, I think that'd be great. 
Like, that'd be hilarious if we have, like, identical uh, uh, Link sword up the butt emotes. Yeah, exactly. That'd be so cool. Like, make it a thing. Uh, P yeah, yeah, yeah. The Peter Griffin lying dead meme. Oh, but, you know, for you... Okay, you, that would be... That's such a good... Like, still the same physique. <laughs> like, you are... Like, you're... <laughs> I don't know. That'd be good. These are such good little drawings. Dude, look at that. Magic. Beta. <laughs> Who am I? Some old dude who tells me it's old. Hey, Cleveland Brown. This place is tight. Ah. This game would would have been right. Oh man, I would have loved Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 as a kid. Like I would have just been I would have gone crazy. I would have gone crazy for like exploring around and stuff. Maybe maybe some other time. Maybe some other time, man. Hmm. Like, if I had played as a kid, I would have just wandered around for so long. I could honestly see myself, over time, accumulating way too many levels. Like, I get over-leveled for how few dungeons I'd inevitably do. Yeah, yeah, man, like, for, for, like, Ocarina of Time, as a kid, I got to the forest temple, and uh, I just hung around the lobby because I was too scared to actually go anywhere. Honestly, this is great. Like, this would be a great praying emote. Now, get rid of the words and, let's, like, pray. So many ideas! This is good. It's good stuff. Look at the little doll. Like, it's, it's a doll. Man. Pray for him to beat you up. Ah. Oh. Treasure bag with the P on it. Like, if I have no other idea... I, I don't know. Like, the P bag would be a great little emote for, like, channel points. But yeah, this game for being so very different. No, I know, I know. I know her. Alright, hold on, let's... Maybe I will. To, to avoid danger. Uh, Impa, Hyrule Warriors. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the, this is the Breath of the Wild info. The, uh, Hyrule Warriors info. Yeah, Big Sword. It's always good in, in Warriors games. Kind of ironic that she's supposed to be like a ninja, basically. With a big sword. I don't know. Is it, no, this is, is this, like, look at her sword. That's a that's a giant katana thing. This though, that is a Naginata. Yeah, that's a giant snipe. Okay. Oh, gonna bring it back.
So, yeah, like, these game. uh, okay, and, um, I mean, by the time I was a- Okay, I was- I just- I didn't like Majora's Mask when I was growing up, because I felt pressured by the time- the timer. So I felt really worried, and it's like I didn't know how to actually progress. I didn't want it to get so close to the end of the timer. Because I would just... Alright, I think we can actually just go back to this. I didn't want to go back to the, the timer. I mean, because you need to get to like the last six hours in Majora's Mask to actually progress. And I never either had the patience or the fortitude to even get to that point. Donald Duck 3 Platformer? Donald Duck or Daffy Duck? Or GameCube, okay. I don't know. I know there was, like, I rented a, an N64 Daffy Duck, like, a Duck Dodgers game. Save Daisy, okay. Huh, I don't know. But then, uh, after that, when I was actually a bit older, when I, I had Wind Waker, I wasn't afraid to progress anymore. But, uh, I think I got to the Wind Temple. And I kind of just got distracted. Twilight Princess, I got to... I got past the Ice Temple, I think, and I got distracted. So, yeah, like, the first Zelda game I ever beat... ...was, uh, Legend of Zelda last year. And now I beat this one this year. I promise I will play... ...uh... ...Link to the Past... ...hopefully in the next couple months. That is my plan. But, uh, like I said... Oh, you found it. Okay. I will play Going Quackers. Yeah. Beat. I have completed the adventure of Link. Heck yeah. Man. Okay, so, um... Yeah, the next game I'm on Sunday, the plan will be to hopefully beat Pokemon Crystal. That should be the thing. That should be what, I, what, what, I, what I'm gonna be doing. What did you Google? Like, Donald Duck... Your FBI agent got a lot to sort through their own. Well, I kind of want to look up the Zelda 1 manual. Kind of compare the art style. Like, here we go. <laughs> yeah, well, the, they're gonna be selling all the selling all the data to all those folks, getting all the weirdest stuff. Oh look at that, that's cool. The art is most of the same, like the same in a lot. Yeah, that is a very different Impa, even from Zelda Two. This one looks weirder. Yeah, the art is more cutesy because he's definitely younger. The answer is apple ohm. You just like apples. Mario, Nintendo, Luigi!
basic wisdom. Wipe. Please. Please wipe. Basic wisdom. Look at all the stuff he got. He's so happy with all this stuff. I know, it's super cute. Yeah, NES and Zelda 1 and 2. Take turns playing your sister and your father. Mom does not play video games. Gets stuck all the time, but it, yeah. That's awesome. That sounds great. I was lucky, uh, yeah. Like, I never really, I rarely actually played games with my brother. Yeah, like my older brother is seven years older than me, so there was always like, oh, I don't want to have to play with uh, with my baby brother. And I, like when he was, when I was seven, he was fourteen. So yeah. Zelda slash Link V two burst monster by Nintendo. That would be interesting. Yeah, like the the tone, the the vibes of the game very similar, despite being combat wise so very different. Like I I feel like I maybe would put the first one above the second one slightly because it felt more like you're a little bit more like you're exploring because it's non-linear. You're really kind of wandering around. And you don't really know where you're going. Where Zelda 2 is linear. Took each other's starter Pokemon. Harness. <laughs> it's good to, good to have a positive outlook with it though. That's cool. It's all a matter of perspective. But yeah, that's, uh, oh yeah, and here is... Got a bit of the map here. <laughs> I, don't, I, I feel weird saying that, even though I'm quoting you. You know, I... Did they actually take photographs of screens? Weaponized autism, there you go. For your benefit! And gain! And profit. Yeah, like they probably actually took photographs of the screen, so I got the scan lines. All right, fine, I'll say it. Only because you told me. And I'll say it like Snake. Ugh, weaponized dots a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. You can clip it if you want. Back when manuals were cool and stuff, you know? I loved manuals when I was a kid. Even as far back as, like, the N64, maybe even, like, GameCube manuals. Ah. Uh, did I like the... How was the music in Zelda 2? It was good, but I don't think it, it didn't quite hit the same way as Zelda 1. Like, if I'd save Zelda... Um, hmm. I'd say Zelda 2 is maybe, like, slightly behind Zelda 1. But it's still hard to compare because they're so different. The combat in Zelda 2 is cool. It's so it's so very apples and oranges. Do 
feeling like I had the grind was a bit annoying, though. Actually, it felt like you, lo you lose a lot more in Zelda 2 when you die. <laughs> there you go. There's the clip. For the record, he demanded it. As a favor to a friend. <laughs> gonna, get, gonna get me cancelled here, Ohm. If anyone ever watches my stream, they're gonna cancel me. <laughs> oh, man. I'm very cautious with the things that I say. <laughs> uh... And you're not, yes. That's 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 your that's your jam, man. Hmm. Oh, okay. I want to enlarge myself a little. But I'm not gonna be gone for too much longer. It's kinda on uh Ah. So like everything yeah. It, feel, it felt like you lost more with, in Zelda 2. It's more linear. But everything that does different, it still does quite well. Yeah, you, you be careful there, um. If you say, if you actually say anything... I will have to at least purge you. And I will give you warnings. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, so... Yeah, Zelda 1 was an experience that I think as a kid I probably would have liked more because I would actually be able to get around everywhere more. And not racial. Good. I... Thank you. Um... In Zelda 2, I honestly don't think I'd even be able to... I probably wouldn't even be able to get past that first cave. Well, second cave. I might be able to... At most, maybe beat the first dungeon, but probably not. Oh, R word. Okay, yeah, yeah. Please do not. Please refrain from R word. Ah, oh, man. And so then, like, and then, links. Uh, like, it's 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 weird that we did own. Uh, I, we, I, we did own Link to the Past, and I think I played it a couple times, and I do not, I barely remember it. Where I have memories of playing games like Marvel, War of the Gems, what were some other games, like, that I barely played that I still remember? Um... You had an N64 when you were three? Yeah, that's that's probably about the same kind of thing. We still had the Super Nintendo, but my brother sold a number of games, I believe, to pay for the N64. You had Conker's Bad Fur Day. Wow. I would hope they wouldn't have let you play Conker's Bad Fur Day. You hide that one. Leave that one in the sock drawer. Ah. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I, I, I did actually get uh, Link's Awakening. No, uh, what was ah? I keep getting the names mixed up. Uh, le, bleh. I, I did have Zelda... I'm just totally blanking on the name right now. Um, I keep saying it, and then I forget it. Marble Maze. 
Yeah, I had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. I think it was the second one, at least second Game Boy one, where it's like... I was not good at it. I was very not good at it. Uh, Link to the Past. Had that game, barely played it, barely remember it, but I know we had it. My, my brother basically has the same memories as I do. Like, he... For some reason, we barely played it. We play. I played more Illusion of Gaia. It's kind of a deepish cut. It just isn't like an action adventure game. Sonic Fight. You had the. You had Sonic. Which, which one was that called? Sonic. Brawl. Bunch of fairly odd parents. What was that Sonic fighting game? I'm gonna look that up now. Sonic Fighters. Okay, that's it. Wait. Ye yeah, Sonic Fighters. Real creative with the name there, guys. Yeah, we had a Genesis too. Like, what are some games I just remember from the Genesis that I barely played? I, there was this one Sega CD Spider-Man game that I liked, but I could never really play. And for some reason, I don't know if our Sega CD broke or something, but it's just like, never, we can never play it. Never played as much as I want. Sonic Battle. What, what am I thinking about? Sonic Fighters. Sonic Battle? Oh! What the, that's a GBA game. Sonic Fighters did come out on the GameCube, though. GameCube, PS2, PS3, and Xbox 360, apparently. Yeah, Game Boy. Okay. I thought you were talking about the one you had on GameCube. And I also had Link's Awakening. I think I got about half of the way through Link's Awakening until I kind of got stuck on something. So I'm going to need to wonder. I'm going to need to decide. And you are a big Sonic guy, huh? Like, like, so I, like uh, Zelda... Uh, Link's Awakening DX or whatever. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Get an Xbox 360 for Sonic 06. Yikes. Big yikes. Man, you were real young then, huh? Man. Game's awful. The worst. Saw the flaws. It's harder to see the not flaws in that game. Yeah, there's kind of no reason to stream the original one. I mean, I have the original Link's Awakening, but the DX one has like an extra dungeon, and it's obviously in color, and it gives you like a little bit of a power up at some point, like a, a special boost. The worst game in the Sonic franchise. I've, yeah, probably next up would be Sonic Boom before it got patched. 
And I think it's actually a playable game now, Sonic Boom. Sonic is such a weird series, man. I'm gonna need to see if maybe my local game store has uh, Link's Awakening DX. I might need to... Or I could just buy a Switch and do the remake. Yeah, like, that's... I mean, it's so uncanny. Like, she's such a real person, and he's like a weird cartoon thing. So yeah, I mean, I, I went to the game store a while ago, and I actually got... Pokemon X and uh, Alpha Sapphire, which is two of the ones that I've been missing. So, um... You got Y and Sapphire. Cool. <laughs> like the remake? Alpha Sapphire? Uh, yeah. Hit by that nostalgia, man. It, was, it all comes back to you. When I, I when I played Gen three in like middle school or whatever, I was I was expecting like a lot more. My my standards were unrealistically high, and I didn't really get into it. And I was kind of out of phase that I was starting to get out of Pokemon. But I really wish that I didn't. I wish I'd stayed with Pokemon the whole way through, instead of kind of getting back into it in college. It's a baby game. Anyone play baby games? I'm in high school. And then I just kind of like, you know what? I never actually beat Yellow. Let's play Pokemon Yellow. Let's go board you. Ah. Uh. So I'm planning on the summer being big Pokemon and Zelda summer. I would love to beat... I would love to play F Gen 5. I've got Pokemon Black. I'd love to play that this summer. That'll be my first time playing that. Yeah, solo with Eevee or Pikachu. I don't know. I made that super casual. So yeah, anyway. I, I wanna... I would love to be able to play... Yeah, and you can't evolve them. Uh, yeah, like, I would hope to get a copy of DX because it's just more stuff. How much can I... How much is uh, Zelda DX on eBay? I mean, $40 there. Is that even... Yeah, it's kind of messed up. Maybe that one is uh, legit. Open box. Alright, well, I mean, it's 14 bucks right now, but it's going to go up. Um... And, like, the nostalgia for some of these Game Boy games that I was so bad at. And remember that Pokemon commercial with the bus? Alright, this one's like $31. I don't know if that's legit, though. That looks kind of a little too pristine. Gen 5 is the best alongside Gen 4. Uh, I mean, I... Like, how much do you think I need to do, like, Black and White 2, like, right after Black or White? Because I don't know if I want to play a game that's so similar, like, right after the other. 
Because I don't even think... I don't think I have a... Hold on. Do I have a copy of... Black or White 2? I have, uh... Pokemon Black. I don't have Black or White 2. Fans upon black and white. I'd like to do one of each, like, generation before I go back to other generations. I mean, I've got a lot of time before I will really need to get to Link's Awakening. I've still got to go through all of uh, Link to the Past. I mean, it's not super expensive. Like, I could probably get it for, like, 40 bucks. Probably. Ooh, hold on there. I nice sell in... Link's Awakening DX and Oracle of Seasons and Ages together. Ooh, $72. That's a good deal. That's good. That's a good deal. Because the Wi-Fi stuff. You mean, like, you can't connect up to the, like, stuff? You can't connect up to the things? Like, there is... Ugh, hate it. That's all gone. Wow. Like, uh, whatever. Uh, D... Man, that sucks. Like, the, the freaking abandonware nonsense. Wow, there was a, a black. Link's Awakening DX box. That's interesting. It's all the champions and gym leaders of the pre- Oh, that's cool. Man, freaking... There's someone trying to sell... Link's Awakening DX sealed. WADA graded, 9.0, A+, $5,000. The grading nonsense is absurd. Like, who's gonna buy this? Really? Yeah, I know. Hold on. I'll link it. I, you know what? I'll just bring it up on screen. I'll just bring it up. I think there's nothing weird here. All right. Dude selling this for five thousand dollars for being in good condition and like sealed like this. Yeah, it's not worth five thousand dollars. How long has this actually been? Game gallery. Ugh, look at this. $305? Okay, this is 6.5 from Mario 64. The most common N64 game. Look 
freaking Mario Maker? This game's only like six years old or whatever. Fifty, well, fifty bucks. Zero. Who's who's actually bidding on a sealed? Who would want this? This is the stupidest. Okay, this is even worse. This is an NBA 2K game. Like, you know how much they they will give you at at GameStop if you try and bring one of these in? Ten cents. Ten cents. Like. Like, okay, once upon a time, I sold a dozen N64 games in order to pay for a brand new GameCube game. And it was flat, like 12 games for one new one. That's how much store credit I got. I brought in like NBA, no, not NBA, uh, NFL 96 or whatever. And they were like, yeah, dude, like you're gonna, you can get a penny. This is a penny. Or take it. I don't care. Imagine actually just buying this, like, $500. There's, like, at least for Mario 64, Mario Party, GoldenEye, there's some sort of, like, nostalgia or something. Oh, my phone's battery's dying. Bag of 360 games. Wow, Steph Curry's on the box. Wow, incredible. Like... A fucking cleaning kit? What? Excuse me? This isn't even a video game. And they graded a cleaning kit? What? But yeah, it's like... I can understand if you're like, Oh man, I love Mario 64 so much. It's such a great game. I would love to have just a pristine boxed copy on my shelf. Sure, maybe. Maybe. Very probably not, but maybe. Who has the power? Oh, who is, who is the strength? Who is the nostalgia? For not just NBA 2K whatever, specifically. Specifically. NBA 2K 16. Because maybe you love Steph Curry. For five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Maybe you're just that into Steph Curry. It's absurd. Like it's all a speculate. It's uh, it's all speculation. Like I can't believe people are actually bidding on this. They have to be bidding on it, hoping that it goes up in price. I don't know, man. I mean, if, if you can get your... How do we even know what's complete in box? They didn't open it when it was graded. I'm not going to open it when I spend a thousand dollars on a copy of Donkey Kong Country. The second biggest selling game on the Super Nintendo. Or whatever. Yeah, Lego Star Wars. Where is that? Um, yeah, Bart versus the world. What a great game. What a great video game. Baseball. This game, this is a dime a dozen. Rare green screen. Okay, well, maybe on the GB, on the Game Boy, I don't, I don't know. On the NES, baseball, nah. Down. Oh, sealed. Okay, this is, this is not even great. This is not even graded. Lego Star Wars. 
on the GameCube. Unreal. Mortal Kombat on a Game Boy. Ridiculous. Anyway. Calming down. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We're back. Had this. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. No, no, the email doesn't matter. That's basically public. Like, frankly, if you want... that, You can consider that my business email. If you want to collaborate with Cyrus Orion on Twitch.television... Hey, Exonia, how's it going? Yeah, that's my business email. I think you could even just find that on Twitter, probably. I don't even know. Maybe. Yeah, you could call it my business email. A chill tweet. Okay. It's, uh... Speaking of Twitter. Speaking of Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I'm still going. I mean, it's only been like four four hours a bit. I beat the game a little bit ago. Um, what is it? Eh, getting there, getting there. I'll be wrapping up in probably just a second though. Um, oh, you can't even see that. That's interesting. All right, here we go. Kind of. I, I just I want to share you a tweet that Mint Castella retweeted. Damn it! No. No. Oh, here we go. All right, this this is sweet. Michael Kay, a chilled weekend to all of you. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> a chill weekend to all of you. <laughs> Why too? I'm doing such a bad accent. Michael Kite. Alright, anyway. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, that uh, that email consider it my business email. If you're if you want to give me money, there's a link somewhere. Um, no, I'm very I'm. I I, I see what I see what you retweet. Like everything that I'm I'm pretty cautious with all this stuff. I, I'm pretty sure everything that is on this browser, I have, I'm willing to have public. Maybe. Barring some things, but they are not open. A chill weekend to all of you. That's so bad. Um, I'm 
naughty things there, I'm slow. I see. I see. Remember, your likes are public. Uh... So, yeah, I think I'll, I'll probably call it here, though. All right, yeah, thanks for dropping by, Exonia. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm done anyway. Tomorrow will be no stream, but Sunday I will probably... do Pokemon Crystal? That's the plan? Yeah, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thanks for hanging out, Jibby. Um, hopefully beating Pokemon Crystal. Probably 7 o'clock Central on Sunday. I might put it off a little bit. There are some things that involve, you know, the whole clock and the days. Hagen? Hey, what? What? Alright, oh, have a good night. Yes, that's what you mean. Um... Yes, yeah. It took me a second. I haven't actually seen that one in a bit. Eh. Yeah, hopefully... I, I will try and get Link to the Past going soonish. Eventually. So yeah, there we go. Uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. This was fun. Good game. Good game. We'll see how we how we like the next one. All right, hold on. I real quick. I think we can raid somebody. We can probably raid somebody. Don't go anywhere yet. Don't go. Don't leave. Hold on. Oh, perfect person. Just uh, she's playing Kingdom Hearts. She's cool. We're raiding gal. Just person at top of my the top of my stream. Top of my follow list. Gonna raid gal. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Have a good night. See you with the next one, whatever it is. Bye!